In life, you want to feel secure, both emotionally and electronically. Well, we can't help you with your personal life, but we can with your online accessibility. In this Cisco Tech Talk, we're going to show you an advanced topic using CBS 350 switch to provide extra security to your network. Next. Before we get started, this is an advanced topic. Knowledge of DHCP and VLANs is required. We will be covering layer three switching, DHCP snooping, DHCP relay agent, and IP source guard. These configurations are not required for all networks. Let's start by checking our topology. We have two CBS 350 switches, switch one and switch two. Our DHCP servers are connected to our switch one and our DHCP client is connected to our switch two. Both our switch one and our switch two have different networks. Switch one has VLAN one in the network of 10.15.101.0 slash 24 and VLAN 10 is in the network of 10.15.110.0 slash 24. Switch 2 has VLAN 1 in the network of 10.15.120.0 slash 24, and VLAN 10 is in the network of 10.15.130.0 slash 24. In order to have inter-VLAN communication, we will enable port 12 on both switches 1 and 2 as layer 3 interfaces. With this configured, we'll have inter-VLAN communication between the two switches. We also need to add static routes to both switches. In this example, we will also want our DHCP clients to receive a DHCP address from the DHCP server. To do this, we will need to add a DHCP relay agent to point switch two to our DHCP server. A DHCP relay agent is any host that forwards DHCP packets between clients and servers. Relay agents are used to forward requests and replies between clients and servers when they are not on the same physical subnet. We will configure DHCP relay to point switch two to the location of the DHCP server. To make sure nothing gets tampered with, we'll want to change some security settings. This will add extra layers of protection to our network. Let's start by adjusting DHCP snooping. This is one of the few times where snooping can be used for good. DHCP snooping is a security feature that acts like a firewall between untrusted hosts and trusted DHCP servers. It validates DHCP messages received from untrusted sources and filters out invalid messages. Snooping prevents false DHCP responses and monitors clients. We will set port 12 on switch 2 as our trusted port. DHCP server messages can flow through trusted ports. DHCP server messages will be dropped if attempting to flow through a port that isn't trusted. We will also configure IP source guard on switch 2 port 20. While this is ample protection, it never hurts to have backup. That comes in the form of an IP source guard. IP source guard is a security feature that restricts IP traffic on untrusted layer two ports by filtering traffic based on the DHCP snooping binding database or manually configured IP source bindings. This feature helps prevent IP spoofing attacks when a host tries to spoof and use the IP address of another host. Any IP traffic coming into the interface with a source IP address other than that assigned via DHCP or static configuration will be filtered out on the untrusted layer two ports. In order to apply these security measures, we first need to log into our switch one. It's important to make sure we are in advanced mode. In our example, our VLANs are already created. We will need to create our layer three port. Click on VLAN management and navigate to interface settings. Next, we'll choose the port that will make a layer three port. In this example, that's port 12. Click on edit and choose layer three for switchboard mode. Click apply. Now we'll need to add an IP address to the layer three port. Click on IPv4 configuration under IPv4 interface. Click on add and then choose a port that was selected to be a layer three port. Choose static IP address and enter the IP address. Enter the network mask and then click apply. The layer three port now has a static IP address. 
What we need to do now is add routes to our switch so we can have communication between switch one and switch two. Click on IPv4 static routes and then add. We will enter the IP range of the networks we want to reach. In this example, that's 10.15.120.0 with a network mask of 255.255.255.0. Route type is remote. In this example, we will enter the IP address of switch to layer three port. Click apply. Next, we will enter a static route for switch to VLAN 10, quite like what we did before. Now we'll configure our switch to. Here, we will configure our layer three port and our static routes to switch one. Are you having some deja vu? I know I am. On switch two, we will configure our layer three port and we will add our static routes to reach switch one. Once we have configured our layer three port and added our static routes, we will enable DHCP snooping and DHCP relay. Click on IPv4 configuration, then on DHCP snooping. Click on properties. Here, we can enable DHCP relay and DHCP snooping, and we will enter the IP address of our DHCP server. Remember to click apply. Click on interface settings, and here we'll enter the VLAN 10 interface. We'll enable DHCP relay for this VLAN. Next, we will click on DHCP snooping trusted interface. Click on the port that is a layer three port where the DHCP traffic will pass through. Click on edit under trusted interface and choose yes. Next, we will configure the DHCP snooping binding database. Databases can be generated dynamically, but in this example, we will create an entry for port 20 manually by entering our device information for the VLAN ID, MAC address of our device, as well as the IP address. We'll then enter the interface of our port. For type, choose static. And for this example, we will enter a lease time as infinite. Click apply. We've now bonded our port 20 to the above settings. Next, we will configure IP source guard on properties and enable IP source guard. We'll click on interface settings. We see the port we configured earlier in our DHCP snooping binding database is set as IP source guard enabled. And there you have it. We demonstrated some advanced configurations that provided extra security to our network, turning simplicity into security. Thanks for watching this Cisco Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.